A year ago, the kid from California who declared in his teens he would one day gun for Nicholas's career records conquered Jack's canvas. The last two days, Tiger has put on a dominating performance of Nicholas-like proportions. performance unimaginable to most but not to the kid who achieved it nor to the one who inspired it CBS Sports proudly presents the PGA Tour from the Muirfield Village Golf Club in Dublin, Ohio CBS Sports presents the 2000 Memorial Tournament, presented by MMC. And we welcome you to a very soggy and puddled Muirfield Village, where play has been suspended since 11.17 local time, almost three hours now. We just received word a moment ago that they're optimistic that play will resume here in the final round at 4 o'clock Eastern time. 44 of the 80 players who made the cut here got their round started. In fact, the first group out today, Pooley and Pavin, even completed their final round. But the leader, Tiger Woods, here by six, he was uh, almost, what, three and a half hours out from the beginning of his fourth round. What a performance he's put on here the last two days especially after an opening 71 a 63 on Friday that he rated as his best as a professional in tournament play backed it up with 65 yesterday Singh and Sutton at seven under David Duvall and the tie for 10th at minus six spread couples a former champion here at four under par all of these players uh, we're waiting to start their final round. Stuart Appleby's twosome. Appleby and Jay Haas were on the first tee when play was called. Tom Shear, who played in the finals here as a young man in the 1992 United States Amateur, had two under through two holes today before play was called. Greg Norman picked up a couple of early birdies, a two-time champion at this event, and one under with Bert Plank and Rich Beam, who will defend next week at the Kemper Open. Tom Lehman, a champion at the Memorial as well in the past. His splendid four rounds of 67, the tournament record 20 under, belonging to Tom Lehman, but certainly in jeopardy here with Tiger Woods still around to play and coming into a final round with the best 36 hole stretch in the history of this event. 128, 63, 65 over Friday and Saturday. You know, the weather here is always so much a part of the story. It was supposed to be this type of stormy scene seen yesterday, and thus uh, they actually moved up the starting times. They had threesomes working off both tees, but yesterday worked out just fine, and today we thought it would be smooth sailing, but it's been anything but smooth sailing. David? Thank you, Jimmy. Down here with the tournament leader. And uh, Tiger, uh, not the situation that we want, obviously, today, but what are you going to do between now and the time that you get the tee off? eat a lot drink and be merry i won't go that far no but no we're just relaxing here and just kind of hanging out and there's really nothing to do some of the guys are playing cards other guys are just telling stories and lying and it's just a lot of fun here all the old guys tell some great stories and now uh, the chances are you're not going to tee off until well close to seven o'clock tonight uh and we're obviously we're going to have some more rain does the course being longer does that play more into your hands it does definitely because obviously I hit the ball a little higher and a little, little further than, than some of the guys out here and you know that, that definitely plays into my my hands but then again I still got to hit it straight so and I, I didn't go out there if, if we do play today I just need to go out there and hit some fairways and give myself a chance where um, if I have some good situations I can go ahead and fire some of these flags and talking about the ball the flight of the ball you've changed uh, equipment in the last couple of weeks and obviously you know changing to a different kind of golf ball from a, 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 a liquid core elastic wine golf ball to a two-piece ball and it seems to me that the, you know the transition is going pretty smoothly 
Hadn't been too bad. You know, I've I've been testing it for a few months, and I like like the properties of of the new Nike ball. And you know, what ended up happening is that Titus has been nice enough to to let me try it and let me experiment with it. And it's been, it's been a wonderful little, little test. Uh, you, you can hit as many balls as you want at home, and then on the range with your buddies playing some weekend rounds of golf. But it's nothing like getting out here and playing a tournament with it. And I played with it last week, um, had a pretty good result, and this week um, I'm actually playing pretty good. Well, is there anyone in this room or anyone out in that golf course? And I, we know that you have a, a, a kind of an intimidating presence out here. You've got six shots of a lead. Is there anyone in this field that will make you nervous? Part of the guys sitting right next to me. No, I mean, like, you know, if we had Siegfried and Roy out there, would that make you nervous? No, just you. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us down here. We hope uh, we get to see you playing golf today, and uh, we'll uh, head over to Peter Costas, who's with another thin, talented guy. <laughs> How about the tournament leader right now? A comment about uh, Tiger Woods. Now, at Augusta this year, took down a quote that you said in the press room. Someone asked you about the Tiger. Obviously, he's been on this roll, and you said at that time at Augusta that in the last six to eight months, he's uh, played better than I've ever played what you said but a career isn't made in six months if tiger continues to do what he's doing he'll break all my records which hey he's very upfront about it he wants to one day break all the nicholas marks do you think it'll happen well jim here's the way i look at it i think i think tiger's played some unbelievable golf he just i mean that, that's obvious i mean everybody knows that and what he's done here this week the, the second and third round has just been unbelievable and the golf he's playing is better than better than I've ever played. I don't think there's any question about that. And my honest honest feeling about that is, I hope he breaks all my records. I think it would be great for the game of golf. And when and then somebody will come along and break his records. I mean, you've got to keep growing in the game of golf. You know, I've played my golf. I've had my record. I've done the best I can do. And if a young man comes along and he's better than I am, more power to him. I'm the, I'm, I'm rooting for him. The key to that is the bottom line is you got to stay healthy. Oh, he's got to stay healthy. I mean, yeah. he's, there's a lot of ifs in that, yes. in that okay. Kenny, and, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's got to stay healthy. He's got to have the desire to want to do it. I mean, there's a million different things that can happen, but, you know, the last year he's been great, and, I'm, and, and, I, and I've enjoyed watching him. I was recently asked what event in golf or otherwise would I like to have my father witness, and I said, today. Because that would mean... I would have had my father the last 30 years of my life. <laughs> and he wouldn't miss a thing. Tiger with a six shot lead. He will uh, be playing with Steve Lowry tomorrow, this Monday finish, which we'll have here on CBS at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Memorial Day Monday coverage on CBS. Tiger trying to successfully defend his title. What a showdown it was last year. Tiger and VJ Singh and others. And uh, let's take a glimpse now at some of Tiger's action in the final round at the 99 Memorial. 102 to carry on the left side. 102 is right there on the right hand edge of that bunker. 102, so you want to carry right in the middle of like carry it 110 yards. Yeah, exactly. What's the wind doing here? It should be slightly right to left. Okay. Yeah, it's just right to left. It's not hurting you. Okay. 102, well, it's 108 right to the middle of that part of the green right there. You got it. Well, Steve Williams with all the answers, one of the best in the business. That bunker they're talking about is the right edge of it is just left of the flag. Sandwich. Oh, too strong. Oh. Now, we've seen some talent from him today, but this is going to take all the talent in the world. But nothing's impossible the way he's been playing those shots. It looks like he's going to try and flop it. Well, he's been very proficient at this shot today. Never ceases to amaze me. Chili. Mm. Still has a tough one. This is what can happen. The ball, you can see the ball. It's not down as deep, and he opens it up, takes a big swing here, drops it under the ball, and you can almost see it just slips right under the ball. 
with not getting the club on the ball, and that's what's going to happen. So he was pressing it all day, when, but he still has not faced with something easy right here either. No, in his position with VJ where he headed it, you know, he just had to put it down somewhere where he isn't going to make six. And now he's going to have a hard time making five. How about a four? How about a four? Can you tell me? Can you believe that? I, I just... <laughs> I'll tell you, I've seen it all today. This is unbelievable. How about that? Kenny, you know, you've been in that position before. I've been in that position. And you know what it takes to play that shot. Only one thing, guts. That's right. And he did it. He just absolutely just made that ball and willed it into the hole. You're looking at what he did the first time. The second time, he could do the same thing, try and hit the absolutely. shot. But he stayed with it. That's, that's fantastic. I'm just kind of love seeing that. Jack, you did say that he could still make four if he wasn't on the green in three, but that's not exactly what you had in mind. You thought maybe he'd be coming up from the fringe. I thought down there with Vijay would be. You know, <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the logical place to put it and you know, take your chances from there. And uh... That's some of the most brilliant recovery shots that I have ever witnessed watching him from the oh. first hole on. I just, I just marvel at it. Good contact. Can you spin it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just get the giggles now. David Perry, I think at this moment he's enjoying missing greens. What do you think? <laughs> I'll tell you, every time he does, it's like a work of art. Just watching it, he just... I mean, it's not even as if he's, you know, holding eight and nine footers to save power. He just keeps flopping it out there stiff. Well, you know, when you're going like this, you just kind of want everybody to watch you. You know, I hit those shots and I get beer face, and he, he hits them and he just a big smile. Just a huge smile. Wow, what, a, what an exhibition of up and downing. The trash man, he cometh. And by the way, you can hit a 330 right down the middle, too. Hmm. A volatile combination, Dave. David, it's almost, uh, well, we'll see the result here in a minute, but maybe it's a good thing that Tiger missed yet another green at the 18th because he's got <laughs> one more chance to show us this incredible game he has around the greens. Well, only one danger here, Jimmy, and that's catching it thin and I think that's highly unlikely. No, I don't think he'd get it all the way up there. I, if he does, he has hit it thin. Shot fire. <laughs> what we were talking about right there. Well, he makes that. You got to take your hat off to him. I'll tell you what. He it was very impressive today. I'll tell you that is his, that it was some talent. I mean, when you think of the, where we showed you the shots and where he was and get it up and down. I don't know which one you'd rate the best, but this one followed one of his few miscues at 14, holding it for par. That was it, and that looked like VJ was going to pick up the shot. He walks off the green losing a shot. So it was a big turnaround. That was it. Now, yeah. Everyone was thinking the same thing at that time. That's the tournament. That was right there. Wanting to finish things the right way. A little professional. Takes his time. Just for a three shot margin of victory. Well, he didn't need it, and that uh, was the best part of it. 
about to win for the second straight tournament he's competed in. Then he wins here at Memorial. A special place to win right here and what a field came here to play in the Memorial Tournament. That was a year ago and Kenny I'm still amazed looking back at it at the short game performance of Tiger a year ago that final round probably the best single day short game performance around the greens we've seen. Even Jack career. Nicklaus said I've never seen anything like it and neither did I. I've never that was just masterful. But the shot of the tournament was clearly the hold shot at 14 for par. And Tiger tomorrow will be going for back-to-back -back wins at Memorial. Will be the first to ever win two straight here. He leads by six. We have final round coverage coming your way tomorrow. Back with some final thoughts for today in a moment.